Today is June 5th. I am working from farm and you know, I was raised to be political and I totally avoided politics because of being raised to be political and all the stuff that's happening in the world, whether it be the, the quarantine, the COVID, the, the riots, yada, yada, yada. It's all very political to me. So I'm staying out of that crap and I'm just going to focus on me. And I think everyone would be well served in doing such a thing. Um, and focusing on me is getting control of my health situation. Um, as I've documented well, I have uh, lost over 70 pounds over the course of the past, not quite two years, but right at uh, about 20 months. And in doing that, I've, I've really changed the way I eat is the primary thing I do. I've never stopped moving. The one thing that I have always done is I've always been very physically active. and probably moving a little more now than I did when I was 300 plus pounds but long story short is that um, you know I try to I'm trying to eliminate all the inflammatory issues in my body so that I can hopefully maintain as much as I can into my 50s into my 60s um, and um, 51 so you know, there's no way to get around that but the issue this past week was, um, so I've been doing a lot of wood runs, trying to get a lot of wood that's down the road that's available to me. It's pine that Zach Browse cut down um, over a year ago now that was on a very steep slope, about 65 degrees. And I've been unable to get it because of various things. And uh, finally started going to get it about two or three weeks ago. And I'm about halfway through it, I've got about over 120 blocks and there's probably well over 200 on that hillside. Um, and I've got five trees left to go, but this past weekend Hunter Smitley and I were um, bucking up a bunch of logs and I, I must have got into some poison and in the, in the, we were doing it in a probably 90 plus degree heat and so sweated, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, started feeling shitty on Sunday after we did that on Saturday and it progressed and I had a very bad rash up my back and down my legs and my, uh, and my and my wife finally convinced me to go see my dermatologist, and I did, and that, and now I have a freaking staph infection, coupled with poison ivy. So my resting heart rate has gone up consistently all week, um, and I didn't sleep well, haven't slept well. So now I'm on a course of antibiotics and various creams, and I'm still going out to the barn to do some shit because it's the only thing I know. And uh, I got a bunch of lawyer crap I got to do this morning, and I'll train this afternoon and see what happens. But the wife and I are going on a hike tomorrow. It shall be fun. Been down a work rabbit hole. Three extensive phone conferences uh, in regards to one of my plug cases, and yeah, it uh, sucks. I'm gonna cut a springboard and uh, sketchy pole 101. So as you can see here, it's gonna be super sketchy. We see cracks where I put the screws in, along with that, please God, let this hold, I hope I don't die, uh, and yeah, so, let's dry off because it's pissing rain, and let's get started. Split. Shit. And I was afraid I'm gonna probably just try and clean that out, make it go in a little deeper, and then I'll cut the block with the with a practice gone.
myself a 36 and a half. It's not a 37. I wish it were. I would like to give it all I got on this one, but I'm going to make a sure cut because I'm feeling stiff in the back because of all the inflammation going on with his staph infection. So um, I'd say if I cut it right, given that it's not a true foot, I think six, eight, and five or eight and six should be really good. got a 17 inch well it's 51 inches in circumference it's not quite 17 inches but it's bigger than 16 and I think it might be a little dry so this is gonna suck donkey balls and I'm gonna use the brute that doesn't have a toe so hmm heavy so I probably won't be able to get up a good pace but at least I'll get some good swings in to call garbage time when I work on various things. So I'm going to cut that the other half of that um, small 10 inch pink white pine, which pink means horrible in white pine. So uh, yeah, I'm going to use that brute with no toe and half. Six and a half inch log. Um, I got the hardwood all in the front, so the front's gonna suck and then the back's gonna be free, I think.
This is a 43 inch white pine. Fearful that it's dry. Um, I'm going to use a uh, lighter axe. Honestly, because I feel like shit. Um, the staff infection is some serious crap. So, here we go.